Paul. Well, tomorrow marks the 72nd anniversary of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Anyone who was alive in Hawaii on December 7th, 1941, knows right where they were when it happened. And tonight we talk with a former UH president about his memories of that day. Former UH President Fujio Fudge Matsuda was playing basketball at Mother Waldron Park in Kaka'ako when he heard the news. Well, my sister, who worked at the advertiser at that time, came to call me and said, you better come home, there's a war going on. And I argued, how can that be? <laughs> you know, young, <laughs> know it all. Matsuda lived just across the park, where his family ran a sign-in stand. From their neighborhood, he saw the attack, thinking at first it was just an exercise. I could see planes flying and puffs of uh, anti-aircraft uh, shells. Um, and I thought it was very inconsiderate of the military to have the maneuvers going on on a Sunday morning. When later, when they had actually hit Pearl Harbor, then all the black smoke came out. Then you know there was major damage being caused. In 1943, when he was 18 years old, Matsuda joined the 442nd Regimental Combat Team and left Hawaii to fight for the United States. The Field Artillery Observation Battalion would take him to battles throughout Europe, mainly in France and Germany. And when Matsuda came home, he got his civil engineering degree under the GI Bill, later becoming the president of the University of Hawaii.